update on Cyclone. Now the southern and coastal districts of East Indian state of Odisha have been put on alert since Tuesday night with heavy rainfall forecast as severe Cyclone Mikjom moved northward after its landfall in Andhra Pradesh. With at least 12 people reportedly killed, a caution has been sounded in the western coastal states of India. According to the India Meteorological Department, latest update, Mikjom has weakened into a deep depression over central coastal Andhra Pradesh. It's positioned approximately 100 kilometers north-northwest of Babatla at 50 kilometers southeast of Kaman, the IMD said. The system is anticipated to further lose intensity, transforming into a depression within the next six hours and eventually downgrading into a well-marked low-pressure system during the subsequent six hours, the Met Department said. Meanwhile, Chennai received heavy rains due to cyclonic storm Mingjom that left the city inundated. The city is still reeling under the floods with several areas still underwater and suffering from power outages. Around 4,000 cusacks of water was released from Chennai's Chambarakam Water Reservoir on Tuesday, December 5th. The city's water level is expected to recede as the water outflow has now been stopped since the inflow into the reservoir has reduced. For the first time since 2015, the water level of the lake reached 23.45 feet, close to its maximum capacity of 24 feet. And for more, Ravi Shankar joins us with, uh, from Guntur in Andhra Pradesh and uh, Jay Singh joins us from Chennai. Uh, well, uh, Ravi Shankar, first question to you. Uh, as the uh, uh, cyclone has made a landfall in Andhra Pradesh, what is the situation there right now? Yeah, Nepasti, good morning. Uh, Andhra Pradesh it has a coastal line of 974 kilometers and at about 3.5 crore people are living over the coastal line. If you see, in 2018, the last cyclone was in Andhra Pradesh, which is very severe. And later on, yesterday's this cyclone is uh, severe, uh, severely affected by Andhra Pradesh. If you see, the cyclones affect at about eight districts of Andhra Pradesh, and at about 40 mandals got severely affected by this. And if you see, the uh, severe effect at about 3,000 kilometers of roads got damaged in the, in the overall state. And in and because of this, the road transport system got severely damaged. At about 400 buses got cancelled, which become a big hurdle to the general public. And regarding transport, the trains also at about 45 trains from Guntur Division and 150 trains from Vijayawada Division for the South Central Railway got cancelled because of the severe cyclone. And the crops, if you go through the crops, the crop damage was considerably big because the paddy, this is the yielding time for paddy. And if you see at about uh, one, 1 lakh acres of paddy in Guntur district and 1 and a half lakh in Bapatla district and much more in the Kutsa district. In the overall, if you see paddy, uh, Mipski, Patan and uh, uh, Black Gram, all these four crops, at about 7,000 rupees, uh, throat rupees of loss was happened to agriculture especially. And the disposal process is going on. As far as electric department is concerned, in 1670 villages, uh, kind of electric poles and all got damaged. The restoration process is going on, and at about uh, 20 teams were kept for this restoration process, and it will take two, three days uh, as per the officials. All right. Uh, also, Jay Singh, can you tell us what is the situation in Chennai right now? Has the water started receding? Well, uh, in and around Chennai, uh, fortunately, there is no rain. For the past two days, the sun is very bright and the sky is also clear. Uh, however, the problem of uh, water inundation in several areas, especially in the neighboring districts like uh, Tiruvallur and uh, Chengalpattu, still remains very grim uh, because they are, such, they are uh, known for uh, several major lakes and reservoirs and all of them are full to the brim and the surplus water were released in a huge quantum of uh, uh, quantum, uh, several cusacks, like uh, uh, 6,000 6, cusacks were released from uh, Chambarambakam and uh, 
more than 4,000 from uh, Pundi Reservoir in Tiruvallur district inundating several habitations. And uh, the water is yet to recede because these areas are actually uh, naturally low-lying areas. Therefore, the, uh, the task remains a very challenging one. However, the level is gradually coming down thanks to the efforts that are being taken on a war footing and also because of uh, uh, the, the grace of nature, because the sun is quite bright now. And this chief minister has demanded 5,060 crore rupees from centre as an interim relief to make uh, immediate relief measures. And he has also uh, uh, requested the centre to de deploy a central team to assess the damages. Right. Also, Jay Singh, how are the rescue operations going on right now there? Well, the rescue operations and the relief uh, efforts are gonna, uh, going on on a war footing. The Central uh, National Disaster Response Teams, NDRF, has deployed uh, several teams, 19 teams in Chennai alone, by mobilizing the team from its Arakunam base and also from the neighboring Andhra Pradesh like uh, Vijayawada, from where uh, several teams have come, and uh, many, many uh, rescue teams from neighboring corporation areas like Trichirapalli, they have also come with their sanitary workers to clear the debris that are full, you know, uh, spread over all across the, the, across the uh, affected regions, including Chennai and its suburban districts. All right. Also, uh, Ravi Shankar, can you tell us that what is the rescue situation there? Yeah, India, it deployed 11 teams, you can say, and they are very much equipped with modern machinery. And uh, comparatively, if you compare it to the past four years, they are much better uh, as far as equipment is concerned. And they are doing very rapid work in uh, Andhra Pradesh. At about 3,000 kilometers of roads got damaged, especially these roads got blocked from there. And uh, these NDRF teams are working severely on that. And they are firstly concentrating on communication and electricity, which is much more important to the general public. All right. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us and giving us that update from Chennai and Andhra Pradesh.